uh, thank you for bearing witness to what was really lost in the catastrophes. I'd like to explore uh, with you, Mr. Mullenberg, some of the financial forces that may have contributed to the catastrophe as it relates to the corporation, if you would answer some simple questions in the yes or no format. One of your primary duties as CEO is to focus on increasing the price of the company stock. Is that right? One of your duties? Con Congressman, one of, one of our objectives okay. is to increase their shareholders' I'll, value. Yes. I'll take that as a yes. Is your total compensation or realized gains tied to Boeing stock performing well? Uh, that's one component of it, yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mullenberg, uh, do you know what the stock price was when you became CEO? Uh, Congressman, I, I do not. It was $140 a share. That's a June 5th, 2015 uh, n number. What was the stock price at the last trading day before the Ethiopian Air accident this year? Would you know that? I, I don't know. Let me help you. It was $422 a share on March 8th. So in a little over four years, your company stock rose. It tripled from 1999 to 2009. It went from 42 to $49 a share. But from 2015 to 2019, it tripled from $140 per share to $422 a share. It's very significant. In fact, you and your board authorized a 20 billion stock buyback program in December of 2018, two months after the Lion Air incident that helped drive up the price of Boeing stock. You own shares of company stock, correct? That's correct. So in short, you benefited personally from increasing the stock price. In fact, a report from the American Prospect shows you made over 95 million from, 25, from 2015 to 2018. You were pocketing almost two million a month, almost half from stock dividends. The way I see it, your relentless focus on stock price and your company's bottom line may have negatively affected employee performance. Would you agree? Congressman, I, I don't agree with that. Our business model is about safe airplanes. So you don't this think that uh, 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 you don't think that employees uh, felt pressured to perform. Congressman, the uh, realities of the competitive environment, the pressure to perform is, is there. But that is, that is never well, equal to safety. safety but, but, but in November priority. of 2016, Boeing conducted an internal survey which over, in which over 40% of employees stated they felt undue pressure. Curtis Eubank, a Boeing employee, said, quote, Boeing management was more concerned with cost and schedule than safety and quality. Another Adam Dixon said, a Boeing engineer said his managers warned in, quote, very directly and threatening ways, end of quote, that pay was at risk if targets weren't met. It's pretty clear there has been a culture of greed and compromising safety at Boeing. Mr. Mullenberg, you did everything to drive profits over safety. You skirted recertification requirements or regulators at every corner, and your employees even admit to lying to the FAA. There are basically two ways that this plays out. You either truly didn't realize you had a defective plane, which demonstrates growth, incompetence, and or negligence, or you did know you had a defective plane but still tried to push it to market, in which case it's just clear corruption. Either way, Mr. Mullenberg, you're the captain of this ship. A culture of negligence, incompetence, or corruption starts at the top, and it starts with you. You padded your personal finances by putting profits over safety, and now 346 people, including eight Americans, are dead. On your watch, today you said you made mistakes and you're accountable. If Exim Bank isn't reauthorized and the max is left grounded, you might be asking us for a bailout. 
that bill, the Exxon Bank, is before the Financial Services Committee. I think it's time that you submitted your resignation, don't you? Congressman, I, I respectfully disagree with your premise on what drives our company. Okay, well, whether or not you or your colleagues are incriminated in the ongoing criminal investigation, the facts remain. It was either gross negligence, incompetence, or corruption. You're at the top. I think it's pretty clear to me, to the families of the victims and the American public, that you should resign and do it immediately. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.